Now that you've made your grid tile and you've gotten that under your belt, this is gonna be a snap. Walls are really easy. They're three pieces of foam glued together. So let's get started. So we're going to start with taking the paper off the foam board on both sides. Now generally taking the paper off of, of ready board should be a relatively easy process. But every once in a while terrain wearers have been getting ready board that's really hard to peel. Um, our going theory is that it's because it's been sitting out for a while and the glue just is cured. But luckily there is a very easy fix for this. Just take and mix half alcohol like rubbing alcohol and water and either wipe it on or spray it on with a spray bottle onto the paper and let it dry completely and that stuff will come off no problem. And then we'll use our two inch wall scoring sled to cut out some strips from the foam board. Now you want to kind of choose an edge that's nice and smooth. Sometimes they're, they're a little rough and we're going to cut one strip out first and then we're going to end up texturing the rest of the foam board left over. Then we're going to make three strips that have texture on them. And we're going to do that just with our little foam ball here. And you're just going to roll it on just like we did for the grid tile. And uh, we're going to cut two strips that we're going to need for the walls. And we're going to cut a third one that we're going to use for our connectors in the next video. And then it's time to trace on our wall templates. Now you'll notice there's two sections to each template. There's an exterior piece and an interior piece. And the interior piece gets the untextured strip and the exterior pieces, well, they get the textured strips. And it's as easy as lining up the template, scoring the edge of the foam and snapping it off. Now remember, you're gonna need one interior piece for every two exterior pieces. So you're going to cut off two pieces here. And there's four different wall templates. There's a four square wide wall, three square wide wall, two square wide wall, and one square wide wall. When referring to squares on these templates, they're referring to the squares on the grid tiles. They also correspond to one square equals five feet in games like Dungeons and Dragons. In this example, I'm making one of each of the wall types so you can see each one. Um, and again, I'm cutting two exterior pieces for each one interior piece for the wall. And I'm just scoring along the edge of the template and then snapping off the pieces that I need. And on this small one square wide wall, please be careful when cutting that interior piece. Uh, there's not a lot of things to hold onto there just because it is such a narrow little piece. So please watch your fingers. And we're gonna use the grid tile we made in the previous video to set the depth of that interior part of the wall. And we're also gonna make sure that we use the textured sides on the outside of our wall. And it's as easy as adding some hot glue to the interior piece, making sure not to have it on the way bottom bit, bit that's going to stick in the, in the gutter there because you don't want glue there. And then we're just going to center the exterior piece of the wall left to right. You can see you kind of want to have the same gap on both sides. And we're going to make sure that the middle piece is all the way down in that gutter. And that looks pretty good. You can see the two sides here are even or close enough to being even. And then we're just going to add the other wall on the other side and then it's done. And you notice there's not a whole lot of hot glue on there. The thing with foam and hot glue is if you put a lot of hot glue on, it'll start bubbling up the foam. So if you see that your walls are starting to bulge out after you put them together, that means you're putting up way too much hot glue. There you go. One finished four square wide wall. And the procedure is the same for each one of the walls. Glue on the centerpiece, make sure the sides are even. Check the depth of the tongue and then add the other side and you're done. And there you go, your first four Torino walls. 
Now you'll notice that when you put them on the square, they're a little narrower than the squares themselves. So like a four square wide wall is a little narrower than four squares. This is so you can actually get walls to fit correctly when they're put together with connectors. So this is just right. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy craft. And a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com forward slash GameGearMaster and a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much and apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trano products, go to Patreon.com forward slash GameGearMaster.